Okay. I was just goofing around, and I took one of these Dollar Tree roses, and I dipped it in the uh, Waverly paint, and I let it dry, and then I went back with more, or I went back with pink and put in it, and then I did the clear coat on it. And uh, I don't know if you can tell how shiny it is. And <laughs> I kept trying different ways to get the pink part to look right. And so, let's see at least how I got it to this. The correct way I did it. Or, well, the, the way that worked for me. Here we go. Okay, a while back I was just uh, messing around with some flowers. And this is one I dipped in the plaster color. Uh, what do you call that brand? Waverly paint. You know, and it's they're all stuck together there, and that's pretty hard. And this is just some I'd mixed up. I don't know what all colors I have in here, but it's pink looking. And right here I got some watered down brown glaze. Very little glaze in it. It's just some I had in the bottom of something, so I added water to it. And I'm going to put this mixed up pink paint. It was a little too pink, so I'm hoping the glaze will, that brown glaze will kind of cut back on the pink a little bit. Okay. Okay, and here's one. It's been a while. So I think I dipped the whole thing and watered down, yeah, you can tell by the back, and like watered down a plaster paint. And I probably went back and dipped the ends in the thicker paint that wasn't watered down. I can't remember. And then I hung them to dry. And look at the leaves. I think that looks good. And you can tell this it's not quite as pink as it was originally. I think it looks pretty good. And here's one that was the same color pink. And I dipped it down in... I guess it was watered down. They're pretty stiff, though. Um, it was the pink. Let me see what that color is called. Ballet Slipper. It was probably watered down, and then I probably dipped the edges in uh, the thicker paint. But apparently I didn't do the leaves. I think that's pretty look. And it cuts back on the pink. <laughs> but just uh, experimenting with flowers. Let me show you this. This is, how you say it, Cap Cape de Monte? Something like that. And it looks like, I don't really know that much about it, except it's really expensive. But I got this one at Goodwill for a reasonable price because it says broke. Oh, I love it anyway, but it's got a lot of broke places. But you can see, it, I don't know if they use material or just put that texture on whatever they use. <laughs> but uh, to me, it's beautiful. And you see it in my videos, more of my videos. But I'll show you the bottom, the marking on it. Oh, it's prickly. I gave $5 for it. And uh, there's that, the end with a crown over it. Well, it says it right there. Okay. So I guess that's how I knew. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, if it was in good condition, oh my goodness. It would be worth some money. But anyway, what am I doing? Now you know why mine's not worth a lot of money. And there she is. <laughs> but, I mean, you can tell I've probably got paint on me. I mean, you don't have to be picky picky. Because you can see they've got blobs. And places ain't blended good. Like, let's see if I can show you that without getting paint all over it. Right down in there, there's a dark spot. It's just, 
they weren't they didn't do it perfect and that's fine it's beautiful you know so and see these edges where you at it's kind of pink and then you can kind of see a definite line so if they can do it I can do it right I don't have to be perfect so there's that and you could put the back on it paint it all the way white and then put the stem back on it and maybe in the middle you could tuck in some fabric where the little hole is or like if you're just going to use it not on a stem maybe curl this inner leaf around before it hardens and to disguise that uh, opening but that's an idea okay I still wasn't liking it so I went and rinsed it off pretty much and so I think what I'm going to try to do alright this is the hair bottle that I had that little bit of glaze in I'm going to pour this thin paint in it I'm going to have to clean my table off after I get through this mess all right put the top on it set my flower in here maybe i don't know i might set it over here now i'm gonna squirt it down in here all right and then let that run out if it will. If it ain't too thick. See it's dripping out of the bottom. Okay, that might be a better, you know, more like what I had in mind, except for it's pink. <laughs> okay, now where to put it to dry? I could sit on top of this bottle, maybe. Now to let it dry. Okay, and that's what it looks like after dipping it in it and putting it outside to dry. And now I don't know what to do with it. Um, I'm thinking it would look good with like a antiquing glaze over it. I don't know. Okay, I decided to go in on this bud with the ballet slipper color and put some of it like down in the way down in deep <laughs> so we'll see okay and this time i'm not going with the brush i'm not adding any more paint to it it's pretty much dry so i'm just going to smear what i've got in there if i hadn't waited too long just going to kind of Smear it up through here. I don't know where all the food is. Cause I got to I got to looking at this again. And Theirs is dark in the middle, and these are really light out toward the edge. Listen to it. <laughs> and uh, so I decided to make mine darker in the middle. It's no work of art like this, but it's me playing around. Where are y'all at? God, it's so hard to. F <laughs> My little screen that shows me what I'm doing is a. Uh, tiny and when I tilt it back where I can see it it makes the image upside down so I'll have a lot of trouble figuring out where to put my things okay probably needs a little more of the dark I'm afraid I'm gonna get carried away again and end up having to rinse it all off you know what I mean so maybe I should just leave well enough alone right here I was getting down these cracks. I'm afraid I'm messing up. 
and it may just end up being something that'll sit like that or glued to a basket I'll figure something out okay I brought it outside and I've sprayed the back and that's just lid to the spray can I've got this uh, triple thick crystal clear glaze uh, I don't know if it says non-yellowing or not But I'm just I'm just gonna spray it with this turn it trying to stay out of the way the winds blowing I don't breathe it because I don't have a mask on see how that looks later okay and here's how it looks I put it on a little stand so you could do you know something like a decoration like that and I put a little bitty mouse in it let me zoom in on the little mouse I had a lot of mama's little mice in a ziplock and the cutest one I stuck in there and it fell out and fell on the floor and its tail broke and then I thought, well, I'll stick it in there. It's tail part won't show. And then I dropped it again and lost it. <laughs> but she also had my hands dirty. I've been out there planting. Also had, well, she had these cute little mice. But anyway. Okay. And see, since I put that clear stuff on it, it looks more like a decoration. And it's just how you, you display it like it's important. And it's important. You know, it just makes it look more like art or something. I mean, this is just a little something I was fooling around with. And here's my cute little Easter basket. Uh, let me turn around. Ain't he cute? <laughs> but I mainly... Let me tilt this up. Well, I'll just hold it. I mainly wanted to show you, like, to decorate a basket. You can decorate a basket with them. And I like the, a lot of things I don't like shiny, but I like that shiny. I like the way it looks. And it don't sit up great. But, now see, it don't look too good without me presenting it like it's something special. But I was just showing you different ways you can use stuff like that or make a bunch of them. And try to make you a, a decoration like my fancy one. Right there. <laughs> But anyway, just goofing around. Bye, y'all.